with Zach Britton, the guy, the ninth inning guy. And man, have you found a home in a bullpen? Yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's been a crazy transition the last few years. Uh, I think we kind of talked about it earlier. Never really thought I'd be in this position if uh, you know I could go back five years when I was kind of struggling as a starter. So uh, it's been great, and I enjoy doing it now. I love coming out of the bullpen. You know, I marvel, and I've, I said this during the course of the year. I've never seen anybody throw as hard as you do with the sink and the movement. Have you always had that two seam sinker? Um, not like that. I mean, I think when I got out of the bullpen, uh, shortened up the outings to one or two innings. When the velo came up, actually the sinker got a little sharper, which is probably not the case for most people. When I was a starter, I was still kind of struggling with going back four seamers and sinkers. And uh, 2014, Dave Wallace said, hey, we're going to get rid of the four seamer. We're going to start throwing that sinker every time. Um, and we're going to work on commanding it. And then all of a sudden I got confident in it. Uh, you know, getting big leaguers out consistently, I think just gives you confidence. And it kind of just took off from there. You know, every every reliever, do you have a routine? Like when you come out, when you're going to warm up, do you know how many pitches it takes to get you ready to get into a game? Yeah, now, I mean, since I pretty much throw all fastballs, it's uh, it's about 10 pitches, I'm good to go. But uh, yeah, once the fifth inning, sixth inning comes around, like you know, out there in the bullpen, everyone starts getting into the routine, their game face on. Um, and I found a little stretch routine, a little, um, maybe even a little mental routine that I like to do to get ready to go. You know what, I tell people this, you got 30 different ballparks, 30 different miles. Is there some you're more comfortable pitching on than others? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, for some, I mean, we play in New York a lot, but that mound is, is great, that bullpen mound. And there's no difference between the bullpen mound and game mound, and a lot of times that's not the case. Um, obviously, our home mound, too, is, is comfortable. But uh, I enjoy going to New York and getting off that mound because you know it's going to be the same thing when you're warming up as it is in the game. Best part about being a reliever, you come to the ballpark, every day you get a chance to play, right? Yep. You, th you have that chance to pitch. Yeah, I think that was the, the biggest thing for me. I think going from struggling as a starter uh, and having those four days to kind of you know, sit on that and overthink it, coming into the bullpen knowing that every day I have a chance to impact the team has been something that I like. Maybe it's, it's better for uh, my personality, but um, it's something I think that's helped me get to kind of where I'm at, at now, have a routine. You almost feel like a position player to an extent. You're just preparing every day to get in the game. You know, every, every big closer like yourself, you have to do have those guys that do the dirty work. O'Day and Brock, those guys have been great getting the ball for you for the ninth inning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, I can't do what I do unless they do what they do. Um, and they've put me in some great situations to be successful. So a lot of that, uh, my success is, is due to their success. And we have a good thing going on, a lot of competition, friendly competition down there. And, uh, you know, that's... I think maybe the reason why we've had a good bullpen for the last few years now is that friendly competition. And when young guys come up, they see that um, that routine that we have, us three guys, that competitive fire, you know, with each other. And I think it feeds off to them, and they go, "Hey, this is what's expected of you when you get up to the Orioles bullpen."